I learned how to finesse the force that with my mouthpiece. That's verbal intercourse. What's head? What's head? What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Tap In Reviews. Today, I got a special guest. I don't know who you is, man. What up, guys? Nick Walker, verbal intercourse host. Privileged to be on this today. And I'm shout out to Tap Tapped In Reviews, man. I've been checking in, man. It's you're doing a great job, bro. Man, I appreciate it, man. Yeah. So, uh, I know today's Sunday, but oh. Friday, <laughs> gonna be my birthday, man. Oh, so, yeah. All top. Y'all watching, y'all, when y'all watching this, I'm gonna be another age. So, if y'all wanna find out how old I am, leave a comment on the vid video. But, uh, today, man, we on this Dr. Stones. Now, if y'all follow me on IG, y'all seen, uh, Nick Walker try this Dr. Dr. Stoner's whiskey when we was, uh, at a, at a show. <laughs> We go at the same time. Same time, same time. Same time. <laughs> same time. You that ain't bad at all. It's floral. It tastes like it got flowers in it. Shit or something. Real talk, definitely citrus. If it were cold, that should be real yeah. fire. It's a nice bottle, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Real colorful ass, creative ass bottle. Oh, yeah, that shit fire. Uh, Seems like he enjoyed it. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Let, why not try to run, man? Yeah. So uh, a little bit about Dr. Stoner's man. This man, uh, he was a dentist, and that man just started distilling liquor, and it just got a unique flavor to it. That's why it's called, you know, Dr. Stoner's. But why I crack it open and pull it up, you can tell the people uh, what you normally know drink. Like, okay. you going to the liquor store, what you picking up? Yeah. So when I when I go to the liquor store, I'm I'm more so a cognac type of guy. Um, but lately. I've been on a lot of tequila, Codijo. That's uh, that's like a top shelf tequila. It'll run you about, the Resposado will run you about $60. So it, it's not too expensive, but it's a really good quality of tequila. Also, um, I, I love whiskey. I like Johnny Walker Black. Um, uh, I like I like top shelf single barrel um, Jack Daniels. So, and I still drink Crown from time to time. If I'm, if I'm on some cognac, uh, right now, do say Hennessy Privilege. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I try to keep a good variety stocked up in the crib. But, yeah, you know, I drink some rum at times. I, I like to I like to mix in some, uh, what would it call, blue, uh, it ain't blue Karachi. Curacao. Curacao. Yeah. Curacao. Blue Curacao, pineapple with some rum. That's like a little. That's a like. That's like a little drink when I'm, you know, on some real chill shit. So, that that's me right there. Man, that what's up, man. Like yeah. I heard you say, Hennessy privilege. Yeah. You know what? I don't think I ever had Hennessy privilege, but you know, I ain't no Hennessy fan, man. So. Oh man. <laughs> oh man. Hey, Hennessy privilege. Hennessy privilege though. Like that shit so smooth that that you know it'll it'll throw that that regular Hennessy in the trash. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like a lot of people. A lot of people, they've been down in Hennessy. I done seen niggas pouring bottles of Hennessy in the toilet and all <laughs> type of shit. So <laughs> It might be a good toilet cleaner. I might have to try that. Hey, it might. Yeah, it'll clean I your toilet. I ain't spend $40 on my uh, toilet cleaner. <laughs> niggas will do anything. <laughs> niggas will do anything for the internet. <laughs> I might need to do it then. <laughs> so let's pick it up. So usually on tap the review, we pick it up. We smell it. Cheers. See, uh, you pull mine in here? Oh, ah, here, there, right here. Shit, you know, we do leading on the rocks, man. Yeah. What you smell, man? Man, that shit smell like some good weed, bro. <laughs> like real talk. That's what I'm definitely smelling, though. Yeah, it, it definitely got that herb smell to it. Like I don't smell rum; I smell liquid weed. That was exactly I liquid. If if this was liquid, you know, to drink liquid marijuana, this would be it for real. For yeah, real. but uh, let's uh let's tap this in, man. All right, bro. What you want to tap it into, man? Shit, man. To to growth, bro. Growth. Different. Definitely different. Definitely got that herbal taste. It's kind yeah. of just like like those those uh those drinks with the marijuana infused. Like yeah, that's kind of you know what this is. Damn, that shit good though. I, I like it. It's a oh. uh, it's a little, it's a little spicy for sure, but not like hot. It's like spicy. Like you know what I'm saying. Like it's. A black person sees this with some <laughs> real talk, real talk, and and I think like if you was to put this bottle in the freezer, it wouldn't mess up the texture of the liquor. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You know how sometimes you put liquors in the freezer and it gets real thick. Yeah, 
Yeah, if you put that in the freezer, it'll just get better. Oh, I ain't tell the people. It's a 42% alcohol by volume, which is an 84 proof. So, a little higher than the normal 40%. Uh, percent. We gonna go on try on the rocks for this uh, water, water it down. Mm -hmm. So, usually, the big, the biggest di discrepancy, I ain't gonna say discrepancy, but the change you can taste in something is when you put it on ice and when it ain't on ice. Yeah. So we gonna see what it tastes like on ice. And we gonna tap this into uh, another year, man. For sure, bro. Happy birthday, bro. Appreciate it, man. See, I can definitely taste the difference for it being a little bit cooler. Tastes it's like a little sweeter. I don't know. It's like a, it ain't got that, that bite to it when it's yeah. a little cooler. It ain't really, it ain't really have a bite to it, but it's less herbal with the ice on it. Yeah. I say less herbal, more rummy. Mm -hmm. Like it tastes more like a rum on ice. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, like it's it's interesting, man. Like I'm I'm not surprised at how it tastes, mainly because of the whiskey and the vodka and the tequila. I've had all three of those. This is the fourth one. I actually haven't did a review on the tequila yet, but this coming soon. But anyway, like it it's all right, man. So normal type of reviews, we rate this thing. One to five, man. So yeah. like one being trash, you ain't gonna buy it. Five being like this is my new top choice. Like I'm putting my favorite down and I'm gonna get this as my new favorite. So on a scale of one to five, what you giving, man? And you can do two separate ratings and even on the rocks. Shit, I'm a I'm gonna keep my rating together. So I I give it a four for real. Like point. like like if I'm if I'm trying to do some shit different, say I'm going out of town with my girl, or if I'm on a beach, yeah. or you know what I'm saying, and I got a blunt with it, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I feel like this meshes well with like a blunt, for real, for real. And I think, uh, and and women will love it, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So I think, I think so, because it's sweet and it's, it's gonna work. Like they yeah. feel it. They can drive the boat with it. And it tastes like liquor. You feel <laughs> yeah. me? Like like you some sweet shit don't taste like liquor and yeah. it, and it just end up making your stomach <laughs> you know sick and all that type and of shit. It's crazy that you say that because I just did a review with Mookie Montana and we tried BSB, brown sugar bourbon. Oh yeah, that sounds like some shit that I <laughs> that, and that's Jamie Fox brand. He literally just bought it probably like either earlier this year or late last year. Yeah. I can't, I can't get with it, man. Yeah. It's too sweet. Yeah. It's too sweet. But, oh, uh, so you, you give it a four? Yeah, definitely give it a four. You give it a four, man. Let's see. Need on the rocks, man. <laughs> okay, so I got a question. So yeah. do you remember drinking the whiskey? Yeah. What would you get a whiskey? Honestly, the rum tastes better than the whiskey. Okay. The whiskey is a little bit sweeter. Okay. This rum, honestly... It I can it seemed like it's more herbal. It like if I like if I if I was smoking weed, I'd be like, damn, this fits really perfectly. The whiskey was kind of sweet, but at the same time it was good. But yeah. I would rate the whiskey probably like a three point seven or some shit. But this gets a four. Yeah, mm. and I can I almost agree with that because uh when I first had the whiskey, it instantly turned into my favorite. I actually like the vodka too, but. The whiskey is sweeter with nothing added, and then it get even sweeter on ice because you only add a need, I think. Yeah. Uh -huh. So on ice, that sweetness that you taste, it heightens on that whiskey. So like, I feel like this is a little more balanced in regards to just the sweetness level yeah. and the alcohol level. And I can say this over time, like if you got a bottle and like you leave it in your car and it heat up and all that stuff, yeah. it changes the flavor. Like for sure, time. for sure, every time. Like I had a bottle of whiskey, it's. First, it tastes like Dr. Stone's whiskey. Uh, a month later, it tastes like Fireball. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead serious, man. <laughs> but I would get this. Uh, I'm gonna have to go with you, man, with that four, man. Yeah. Like, four all the way around, man. Like I enjoyed it. Both neat and on the rocks. I'm. A, I might give a four point two on the rocks because I just like yeah. chill uh, liquor. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I definitely, I definitely prefer chill liquor. Like, and, like, I like rum that makes me feel like I'm somewhere else. Like, when I'm drinking rum, I want to feel like I'm on the, I'm in the Caribbean or I'm on a fucking cruise or some shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, on vacation. Rum is like some vacation shit. I'm chilling on the beach type shit. <laughs> and that's what this makes me feel like, especially if I had a blunt. <laughs> I, I can definitely feel that, man. Like, I... 
man, listen. Another thing we do on tap the review sometimes, man, we we compare it to something in real life. So like, if I had to compare this, like just tasting it, I I can't even think of a real life comparison, man. Like, I mean, cause like the way you describe it, like when you drink it, you feel like you somewhere else. Yeah, like, for sure. You don't yeah. feel like you in Jackson. If you no. want to leave Jackson without leaving, drink that shit. <laughs> drink Doctor Stone. Drink, drink, drink Doctor Stoners for real, for real. This this is vacation to bottle. That's that's my best comparison. I, I know you probably feel the same way, but like, shoot, and I know NFL season just started, man. It's like if I, if I give an NFL comparison, I ain't no big NFL fan, but like, ooh we, what 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 do I want to compare this to, man? It's a, uh, I'm gonna say this. I didn't watch the game, but just from uh, seeing how the score card looked, yeah, that Kansas City game when they yeah. came back, yeah. This is this the comeback. This the comeback. Yeah, this 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 the comeback, man. What's crazy about this bottle is that it was bottled in Virginia Beach. That's what it's saying on the back of it. Okay. Well, it's distilled in Saint Saint Crow, in the Virgin Islands, really. Yeah. But it was bottled in Virginia Beach. Both of those are are water based areas. You feel me? Yeah. Like that's why I said, man, when I drink this shit, bro, it's like I feel like. I'm on vacation yeah. and I gotta go to work tomorrow in real life. But when I drink it, <laughs> I'm on vacation. You know what I'm saying? But man, listen, it's and you see right here it say I don't know if y'all I might put a picture on the screen, but it say it's crazy good and it's good. I I don't he hasn't missed yet. Yeah, and I'm gonna say this: I know you ain't never tried tequila, but yeah. the tequila was my least favorite. How much? How much is uh this bottle run? Okay, so all of them are under thirty dollars from what I bought them. That's so this was probably like twenty five. The tequila was probably like twenty five. The vodka was probably like twenty. Yeah. And the vodka was like the first one I ever tried, and it was good. Like I enjoyed that vodka. Like I would probably, if I had to rate the ones I've tried in order, it probably would be this whiskey and vodka tie, and then tequila. This this would be my new favorite. See, see, I would do definitely this one, and I would, and I would definitely do the whiskey again. I'm gonna have to try the tequila. Matter I fact, don't do me, vodka. Period. Let, let me see if I got it real quick. See if I got some left. This the this the tequila. All right. Yeah. Might have had it a while, so I don't know what the, what the flavor done changed. Yeah, let's take a shot of that then. I don't know if it's enough for two, but we are gonna see. Yeah, it definitely. It, yeah, give me a little half shot. All right. Yep, that's good. Give me one. Yeah, because I know I can't do the vodka shit because I'm just not. Vodka just ain't me. <laughs> and I wish I had some because y'all think you'll like it, man. You I think really, I'd like it? Yeah, man. Let's, uh, let's toast this to 420. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> okay. See. It tastes more like tequila, man. Definitely, definitely. Very, this is legit tequila, yeah. like off top. You know what I'm saying? And this is, this is, this is the best one. Yeah, like this is the best one. Cause you done tried three of them so far. Yeah, like, done tried three of them. I, I, I would have to try the vodka, but this is the best one. I I, I can agree, man. That's this. And it's crazy because like my scale was one to seven. I think I had gained a Stoner's whiskey a seven. I might have to revisit that and get this the the perp well five now. Mm -hmm. Give it a five, man. But it, it's it's good, man. Yeah. So, uh, man, use your tap in reviews. I get the guests to share a two turn story. What's drinking liquor without a two turn story, man? So, Duh. like, you got a time where you Duh. don't got a two turn, man, you can share with the people. And while y'all watching, make sure y'all subscribe, click the bell notification, <laughs> and definitely check out Nick Walker, Burger Intercourse Podcast, Dope Podcast, Entertaining. Uh, one of my favorite podcasts, period. Not even in the city, just period. And uh, you can learn a lot from it. But uh, two turn story, man. Nah, let me. I'm gonna pump me a little shot right quick before I turn. Before I talk <laughs> about this one, man, because because I got I got some stories, dog. But the one, but the one that I'm gonna be so too, man. Yeah, go ahead, dog. But yeah, the one the one that take the cake, man. I'm uh summer summer of. Going into my senior year, I'm a junior in college, and uh, and uh, you know, summertime, I I wasn't in no internships that year. I wasn't doing no research and no shit like that. I was just riding around getting it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? 
And so, at the time, I had a homeboy living in the Palisades. Okay. Um, from what I could remember, he was going through some issues with his woman. So back then, niggas was drinking Palmer Sun. So okay. I buy, so I buy, <laughs> I buy a pint of Palmer Sun. I take it over to his crib. I'm like, hey man, you know what I'm saying? You going through some shit? Uh, let's have a drink. He like, nah, I don't want to drink. You know, cool. We sitting there smoking weed. I'm drinking a bottle of Palmer Sun. Yeah. Cool. So at the time, I was dating a girl, um, which would be my ex. A bunch of times over now. <laughs> be my ex. So um she hits me up, I would say probably around about uh five or six. It was like, you know, um uh, me and the homies, they having a house party on the north side. So I'm like, cool. I'm lit as hell, you know what I'm saying? I drive to the north side. So when I get there, it's a bunch of people there. Mind you, it's summertime, everybody home from college, so yeah. it's lit. As soon as I walk in, a homegirl is like, here goes a glass of crown. Back then, mind you, I just said we was drinking Palmer mm -hmm. Sun then. So crown was like a fucking delicacy. Talk yeah, 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 real top. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Junior, crown is a fucking top shelf. Yeah. So cool. I drink the uh I drink the crown. And it was a, and it wasn't like a glass like this. It's like a tall glass. Yeah. So I drink the Crown and Coke, and so they start playing Never Have I Ever. So if you never played that shit, you know what I'm saying? That's wild that you hadn't played it. But <laughs> it's just a normal game where people ask, "Have you did something?" And then you either say yes or no. If you say yes, you have to drink. Yeah. So. I'm drunk, so I'm literally raising my hand to shit and saying that I've done that I have not done ever in life. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And they got peach burnets. That's what we taking shots of. That's how you know we was young as shit. Cause it's day bottom shelf. That's the dust <laughs> under the shelf. Dog, that's the dust under the shelf, dog. And it's a full fifth. Mind you, I'm lit as hell, so these peach burnets is tasting great as fuck right now. Yeah. So, cool. So, I'm raising my hand. Never have a motherfucker saying, never have I ever did this. And I'm like, yeah, I did that. I ain't did that shit before. I'm gonna grab a shot. Bam. And I'm like four or five shots in. So I fall asleep on the couch. All right, wake up. Sound like me. Wake up. My, I'm like, I'm finna go home. Mind you, where my parents live in uh, Madison. So mind you, where I was at was literally a straight, a straight line drive from Jackson to Madison. And I probably had to take one right, one left, and one more left to get home. Yeah. That's all I had to do. <laughs> so my girl is like, You think you could you think you could uh drive or whatever? I was like, Yeah, I'm cool. I done did this shit a bunch of times. <laughs> Which I had. I mean, when you drinking in college, you have drove drunk drove drunk. You I mean, watch TikTok? Yeah, some. So it was a dude, <laughs> he would drive all drunk and it's a little song. Bitch, you doing a good job. Bitch, you doing a good job. And that's the first thing I thought of. <laughs> Hey, nah, you know what I, you know, every time I tell this story, I think about that time on Wolf of Wall Street. You ever seen that movie? Nope. So, I need to watch. So, yeah, so on Wolf of Wall Street, Leonardo DiCaprio is the main character. And back then, back then when he was doing what he was doing on the movie, Quaaludes was the drug. That's the drug that Bill Cosby was using to motherfucking drug people. Yeah. So Quaaludes was the drug. But anyway, the reason why I brought that up was it's a scene where he felt like he drove perfectly home and he was like man that shit was perfect but in reality he was fucking crashing into everything all the way fucking home yeah. so basically what happened was when my girl asked me was i cool to drive i was like yeah i'm cool to drive i get in the car and i drive and next thing you know i guess i run off the road a little bit and what it was they was doing construction so i try to bag out of like this little ditch and I ripped the fucking front bumper off. God damn. Good. But but this thing though, I did not know the front bumper was ripped off. So I drive home. You know what I'm saying? And when I drive home, I get home and I walk in the front door. You know what I'm saying? And my father, he he was usually in the den. It was NBA playoffs, summertime. Yeah. So I usually would say, you know, Dad, did you see that game tonight? And he like, yeah, you know, he talked and then I just go upstairs when I was drunk. But this time, 
when I said that, I must have slurred my words because he got up out his chair and he walked into the foyer. Yeah. And he was like, he was like, uh, <laughs> man. He, it's crazy because like when you say, <laughs> I just, I'm imagining the house. Yeah, yeah. You say foyer, you, you say upstairs, I'm like, oh yeah, this is a big ass house. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause, Cause I drove from, you feel me? I drove from Jackson to Madison. Yeah. So, so my parents' house is a big house, but it's like when I walked in the foyer, you know what I'm saying? And I said, you know, did you see that game tonight? I slurred my words. And he fucking cut the light on. He was like, he was like, boy, what the hell? What the hell? You got throw up on your shirt. Mind you, I didn't know I threw up. <laughs> then he said, then he said, look at your shoe. He said, what the hell you been at? I look at my shoes. I had on some Jordan 10s. Them yeah. bitches had dirt all around. That's my favorite Jordan, by the way. Real talk. <laughs> hey, them bitches lit. But they had dirt all around them. Then, then by the time he started yelling, my mama done woke up and she's like, boy, what the fuck? She's like, boy, what the hell you been doing? Yeah. And I'm like, I'm like, shit, I mean, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> and so, and so he go outside to look at my car. He's like, boy, what the hell happened to the bumper on your car? <laughs> I was like, shit, what happened to the bumper? I literally did not know. I literally did not know that my bumper was gone. Yeah. So, so they cussed me out. My mama think I'm on some type of hard drugs or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And so I go upstairs. I go to bed. I wake up. My daddy wake my ass up at like six o'clock in the morning. Like, let's go find this goddamn bumper. Yeah. And so when I wake up, it's like throw up in the bed, dog. It's just like. Like I went through some crazy shit. So he get like like so I wake up and then I'm hung over as shit. I'm dazed as shit, cause you know, you know how it be when you hella drunk. Yeah. And so I walk outside and see my car for the first time in the sun and the whole front bumper is gone. The driver's side tire, the front tire is on flat and the rim is bent. Yeah. I drove all the way home in this shit, which is crazy as fuck and dangerous as fuck. Don't try that shit at home. <laughs> but that shit happened and I literally start laughing. Like, I was just like, bro, this is fucking insane. That's wild, man. <laughs> that is wild. <laughs> that is wild, man. Bro, I was scared as shit to sleep in my own parents' house for like a whole 24 to 36 hours. I didn't have a car for that whole summer. Like, cause my shit was in the shop getting yeah. fixed. And mind you, at that time, my car was only about like, probably about like two years old, yeah. like brand new off the lot. So I was like, yeah. So, um, yeah, that, that shit was crazy. And my, my friends always trip out about that shit. I was wilding about that you, shit. You, you were wild, cause you, <laughs> cause <laughs> that is a, cause you were too turnt, like, bruh, like. I, and it's crazy, I got a story like that. I ain't gonna tell the people, but the people that have seen a couple of my reviews, they know about my story. I was literally in Brandon. I ain't gonna tell the full story. I was in Brandon. Yeah. My grandparents stayed five minutes away from where I was. I was at a kickback. And just know, I was messed up, but I was sober enough. Well, I wasn't sober at all. Yeah. But I was in my right mind enough to know, like, drive me to Jackson. Take me home. Do not take me to my grandparents' house like this. Really? I no. I, they can't see me like this. Man, man. I was gone, man. I feel like that summer, bruh, it was just like I feel like that summer was the summer that I was finally, I feel like, experimenting with marijuana and alcohol at the same time. Yeah. And it was and I was too lit. Like I was I mean, my GPA was high and I'm just living life, you know what I'm saying? I was just out here, but you know how niggas do in college. They just, you know, they just be wilding out. Yeah. Yeah. Man, that that that's a two turn story for the books, man. Listen, <laughs> listen, make sure everybody that's watching, make sure y'all subscribe and check out Nick Walker on all uh, podcasts and platforms. Uh what they can follow you on social media, man. Man, they can follow me, my personal page, Nick Walker, he cold on Instagram, on Twitter. On Twitter is Nikki underscore Flash twenty three, and then also on Instagram, you can follow the podcast page Verbal Intercourse Jackson, and uh, we we drop shit all the time. Podcasts, I do initial song reviews. Yeah. Um, 
anything anything you want to get done man we we just we just trying to build a platform up and uh appreciate all the supporters and the followers man y'all definitely check out tapped in reviews tapped in reviews will have something new coming very soon probably sometime next month uh make sure y'all subscribe and uh stay tuned for the interview with nick walker and we out this thing peace Peace. Uh, my mind wonder if I've been out here selling myself short, pushing for less just for the love of the sport and no gimmies. Clear to see it, send me the vibe, but the hustle is not. Only taking the strides to see more better, not only more cheddar. Talk it like I walk it, call it poor man special. Seen more.